Hi there, my name is Andy from Mod Cloth. So today I'm going to be walking you through two makeup tutorials that are pinup inspired. One look is for the daytime and the second look, which I'm wearing right now, is for the evening that you can wear going out. So first off, I just want to let you guys know that I do already have primer on um, and I also have just, you know, a bare foundation that I laid on my face evenly. So it's pretty much just a clean slate. And what I wanted to start on first is the eyes. So I'm going to take a rounded eyeshadow brush. It's flat and synthetic. So basically it's firmer than a normal natural fiber, um, natural hair brush. So I'm gonna place that into a matte powder um, eyeshadow and it's a nude color. I'm going to place it on the lid, just pressing it in as I go along the way all over my lid, basically from the lash line up to your crease, which is right here, your lash line, and then your crease is right here. So then after I do this, I'm going to want to take a fluffy crease brush, um, also and for, you know, eyeshadows and make sure it's empty it's bare and you're gonna want to place that right in your crease and work your way um, from the inner corner to the outer corner making sure you're blending any harsh lines and then I'm gonna repeat it again just so we have you know high concentration of pigment on your lid and then repeat again with the crease brush and kind of do like a windshield motion back and forth making sure you're blending everything moving on to the crease color I like to use a kind of cocoa brown chocolate brown color that's also matte and you're gonna want to just kind of push this into your crease starting from the outer corner So the point of this is to get that really defined crease and that's really kind of um, iconic for the classic pinup girl. It's a defined crease with a bare lid. And then once you have that pressed in, just blend that in with that same windshield wiper motion. You want to get just a really overall blended, smoky look to your crease. And then I'm going to highlight the brow bone, which is your area right here, right underneath your brow, with a shimmery pearl shade, like this. And um, the brush that I'm gonna use is kind of like an angled shadow brush. It's also you know, natural um, bristles and natural um, hairs. And then just gonna take the pigment and then start right on the inner corner of your brow and just wiggle it underneath and make sure that you're kind of blending along the way, blending between the pearly shade and then the chocolate brown color. And then if you want to make sure that everything's blended, take a smaller crease brush. Um, if you don't have this, that's okay. You could still use um, the bigger one, just make sure you dust off the pigment and it's clean and then just blend those two colors together. Make sure that the lid is, you know, really completely bare with that nude color. So I'm going to go back in and define it a little bit more and then again blend it so everything's even. So basically you have three different um, colors going on. So that nude color, the chocolate brown, and then the pearly um, highlighting shade. So next step would be to do um, the eyeliner. So classic, you know, pinup girl look is with that defined, really defined um, eyeliner and it's winged. I'm going to first use um, just a normal eyeliner pencil and um, make sure it's you know, sharpened and 
you get that really defined point. And then I like to pull my eyelid taut like this and then take the pencil and start at the inner corner and then just start using wiggling motions back and forth. Try to stay as close to the lash line as possible. Another way to blend um, your liner would be to take a liner brush that's pointed like this and you can do the same thing and just drag it through like that. And once you get to the corner, again, make sure all gaps are filled and then you're gonna wanna wing the liner out towards the end of where your eyebrow ends. So try to get that you know consistent um, look to it. So I'm just gonna wing it out like this. And since this is the daytime, you don't want to do it too much and you know make it too exaggerated. So you could use your eyeliner brush to help with that. And if you want to troubleshoot the shape, use a cotton swab. And then you can always just kind of clean up from there. And then just go back in with the liner and make it more defined. Okay, and so now for the um, curling your lashes. Basically, I just take a normal eyelash curler, like this one. And um, a good trick that I like to do to prevent you from pinching your eyelid is to just pull your eyelid up like this. So that way the lashes are sticking out so it makes it easy to catch on your curler. And basically just take it down all the way to the base and press down. And you can even pump it a couple times to make sure. You... And then you're gonna wanna do that at the base, throughout the middle, and also at the very end. So you get that nice curl. So on to the mascara. Um, I personally like to use waterproof mascara because I tend to find that it holds the curl longer and also it helps in preventing from clumping and you can kind of just layer it and layer it without it really clumping. Um, so I start out by holding the wand horizontal and then just really bringing it up to the base of your lashes and then just starting to wiggle it up. And then you can really just like layer as much as you need. You know, if you want to get the individual lashes, you can hold it vertical and just kind of paint it up like this. Another cool trick that I found is that if you just hold it, um, again, horizontal at the base of your lashes and just blink down, that seems to catch a lot of the pigment underneath. I think the best way to get the mascara onto the bottom is to hold it vertical and then to just kind of run it through your lower lashes back and forth. So it catches the pigment and then you can bring it horizontal to kind of evenly distribute it throughout. And onto the brows. So the pinup look is very um, defined in terms of the brows. So it's like that really arched, filled in look. So you wanna make sure it's still wearable for the daytime, whether you're going to work or you know, out shopping or something. So to do that, um, I like to take a powder shadow. Um, something like this is really good to use. It's not too dark. So I take a brush like this. It's an angled liner brush. Um, this one's particularly used for eyeliner, but I like to use it for my brows, so um, it's really up to you. Just start in the inner corner using the flattest part of the brush and just working it up in a sweeping motion and just wiggling it like back and forth, making sure all the pigment is distribute it evenly. And for the bottom part of your brow, you're gonna wanna just 
sweep it down like this. You can always clean up the line again with a cotton swab until you get the shape that you want. And if you want to make it even more natural, um, take a disposable mascara wand like this. Make sure it's empty. Um, there's no pigment or anything on it. And just run it through your brows like so. And that will kind of just make sure it looks as most you know, natural as possible. But it's also still maintaining the shape, which is what you're trying to go for with a pinup look. Okay, so that's pretty much the eye area. Um, so now is like a really good time to do like all the touch-ups. Now that you have everything in place. So basically I'm gonna move on to my cheeks. And so the pinup look is very, um, kind of a natural cheek, it's nothing too contoured or heavy. A lot of focus is on the apples of the cheeks. So um, what I'm gonna do is take a gel cheek stain, um, really natural color, and then I'm gonna take a disposable um, sponge and just pat it in like this, and then bring it up to the apples of my cheeks. You can always, you know, just smile and make sure that you have, you know, you find where the apples are. And then just kind of like lightly stipple it in. So don't worry about it looking too harsh right now. You're going to want to blend with the empty side of the sponge. And then after you do that till we're, it's where you want it to be, um, I take a powder brush, something that's really fluffy and you know, um, you know, make sure the hairs aren't falling out and it's you know, pretty good quality. Uh, make sure it's not too harsh on your cheeks either, not too pokey. Um, and then I'm gonna take translucent powder and just set everything in um, on the cheek area. Translucent powder is also great for kind of controlling the shine. If you ever experience any shine throughout the day, it's great for um, just having that overall matte look to your skin. And lastly is the lips. Um, so again, since this is a daytime look, I don't want to go too red and too um, crazy on the lip color. So to kind of just achieve that same classic red look, I'm going to do um, a lip gloss. It's kind of a cross between a lip gloss and a lip stain, um, but it's just going to be a good way to get that look without um, going too heavy on the lip color. So I'm gonna take a lip brush and then just basically start in the middle and just work your way into your lips. You know, just line the outer part of your lips first, you know, for, to prevent from going outside of the lines. It'd be a good way of giving you um, kind of like a stencil to work with. I'm going to press it in, smudging together, so again, tracing your lips, natural lip line. And yeah, that's basically it. You can see that you still have that red um, lip, but it's more daytime, more um, kind of stained. And if it's too glossy for you, if you want the more stained look, you can always just kind of use the pads of your finger and smudge together to get more of that look. The next look that I'm gonna do is more a dramatic, exaggerated look um, for the evening. So what we got here is kind of just the basic pinup girl um, look, but instead we're gonna define the brows a little bit more, fill them in, arch them out more. Um, we're gonna put some false eyelashes on because those are always fun. And then we're gonna use some um, liquid liner to define the wingedness of my lash line a little bit more. Um, and then, you know, lastly will be the matte red lip, the classic red lip, and that should complete the pinup girl look.